US Navy RP Flip Despite its resemblance to a ship, this vehicle is not an autonomous craft and therefore cannot move by itself. Its main purpose is to carry out oceanographic research. FLIP does not have its own energy base, which could become an interference source for the vessel's measuring and transport equipment, so it moves with the help of a tugboat. Externally, the device is a kind of hybrid between a boat and a submarine. On the bow, there is a classic carcass with an add-on, a long ladder and rows of cranes. The length of the complements is 50 to 55 feet, and the length of the boat up to the stern is 90 feet. The hull of the FLIP spacecraft is cylindrical, similar to a submarine casing. Inside this section, and housing other compartments for research equipment, as well as 10 water tanks. It's worth noting that the name of the flip boat itself is an acronym for Floating Instrument Platform. At the same time, in addition to being an abbreviation, flip means jump, as the ship is partially capable of sinking, turning 90 degrees and leaving only 55 feet above the surface. Since flip investigations last several weeks, in order to facilitate the crew's work, the ship has been planned in such a way that it's possible to enjoy the stay in any position. At different times on the ship, studies have been carried out on the propagation of seismic waves in the ocean, the interaction of different water layers, the exchange of heat between the thickness of the water and the surface, and many others. Tanko A200 According to the creators, this individual packer of hay bales is fully automatic and autonomous. The machine can be connected to a tractor or be operated with a power supply. The main function of this device is to prepare the bales of hay for long-term storage or transport. The most important thing is that the use with the help of an energy source, which can be installed on the machine, avoids the need for a second tractor. During the process, the operator can organize the packages or prepare more. The remote control system allows the operator to be located 100 165 feet or 50 meters away from the device without losing the signal. Screw Propelled Vehicle This unusual car, created by a Russian SUV factory, is an all-terrain vehicle that moves thanks to a rotary screw motor. The motor uses two Archimedes screws prepared with a resistant and anti-corrosive material. The SUV has the unique ability to pass through marshy terrain, snow or ice, and is perfect for moving in the water without sinking to great depths. This all-terrain vehicle shouldn't be used within urban areas, as the huge bolts are not meant to move over asphalt or concrete. It's worth noting that the SUV is very harmful to the environment, destroying the soil and killing plants, so it's used only in extreme cases, for example in rescue work in places of difficult access. The average speed of this off-road vehicle is 6 miles per hour. TCM60 The Swiss firm Matisse, which since 1945 has been considered the best in the field of railroad machining, specializes in the creation of machines for the construction, maintenance, and repair of railway tracks. Among other devices produced by the company is the TCM60 train for track installation. The main characteristic of this device for the construction of railway tracks is its complete continuous work. This apparatus is self-contained and can perform lifting and installation of rails and sleepers without additional machines. Its universality makes the work easier and faster, as it decreases human participation in the process. Another important feature is that the machine can transport its own materials. This prevents the use of additional machinery when building railway tracks. Vitiaz a road is not required to ride in this vehicle, as it has a high passing capacity, even in difficult weather conditions and on land with a minimum level of grip. For example, Vitiaz has no problem walking through swamps, snow-covered terrain, impassable roads or forests. The temperature spectrum in which the vehicle can work with normality ranges from minus 50 to plus 40 degrees Celsius. Vitiaz is not afraid of the water, and when swimming it can reach a speed of 4 miles per hour, besides being able to get in and out of the water regardless of the state of the shore or the hardness of the bottom. The vehicle can overcome obstacles up to 5 feet tall. The creators claim that it's the world's largest crawler track vehicle with the world's highest throughput capacity as it can move on a single crawler track traction. In a 
addition, Vitiaz stands out for its high maneuverability, despite weighing 29 tons. On the ground, the vehicle can move at a speed of 22 miles per hour, even when carrying a load greater than its own weight. BRDM2 the main characteristic of this armoured vehicle is its incredible passing capacity. The wheels have a pressure regulation system that allows them to change their position when they're still or moving. In addition to the four-wheel drive chassis, the central part of the vehicle has a special movable wheel that allows it to overcome enormous gaps or trenches. Before the obstacle is overcome, the wheels are lowered, and once the obstacle has been overcome, they're lifted using four hydraulic suspensions. The 10mm thick shielding provides protection against gun fire, splinters and small caliber mines. In addition, the armored vehicle has a hydro jet on the front that allows it to reach a speed of 6 miles per hour in the water. In the control area, you can find observation instruments, a radio station, a navigation device and seating for the commander and the driver. In the combat zone, there's a machine gun, military instruments and the hydraulic suspension for the additional wheels. The BRDM2 crew includes a driver mechanic, a commander and two intelligence soldiers, one responsible for the the use of the machine gun. Currently, intelligence divisions in more than 50 countries use this armored vehicle. The Toyo Tires Ferret According to the developers, this vehicle is capable of withstanding any conditions and is ideal for driving in forests, deserts and even across rivers. The creators of the armoured car used a 1959 British intelligence car as a base and decided to modify it. At the rear of the car, they installed a powerful engine and equipped the vehicle with large wheels and special tyres designed for all terrains. These tyres are characterised by increased mobility and optimum reliability and also have an attractive, aggressive design. Hydraulic motors can controlled from the inside drive two of them. Instead of a machine gun, a device with a hook attached to the cable of the winch was installed. In addition, the vehicle is equipped with reinforced shock absorbers. The special suspension allows this improved armoured car to easily cross any terrain and overcome any obstacle. Paddle Boat here we have the prototype of a new amphibious assault vehicle, a Caterpillar vehicle with an original design. All of the machine's main units are located inside the bodywork. In the front, we find a crew cabin with all the necessary equipment. Crawler tracks are located on the sides of the vehicle. These have special blocks of porous material which increases the floatability of this vehicle. The original Caterpillars allow the amphibious vehicle to literally walk on water. Although the car is still slower than amphibious speedboats, it is significantly ahead of them in its ability to overcome any terrain. After all, if necessary, this invention may even pass over a wall 10 feet high. In addition, the vehicle can carry up to 200 tons of cargo. M3 Amphibious Rig this German amphibious car is designed to transport tanks and other vehicles across water barriers. When entering the water, the amphibian can be transformed automatically with the help of a floating system and a hydraulic crane. Therefore, if necessary, it can serve as a bridge or a floating ferry, which can carry heavy armored vehicles weighing up to 64 tons. The main loading parts of the M3 amphibian are made of aluminium. In its main part, there's a cab, a hydraulic crane, and a control pole. In addition, the design features a force stroke 8-cylinder 360 horsepower diesel engine, allowing it to travel over land at a speed of 50 miles per hour, and by water at speeds of up to 12 miles per hour. The machine has two large folding aluminium mechanisms to increase buoyancy in the water. In addition, this technical device is equipped with an armored cabin, an air conditioning system, and a number of other improvements. In addition to Germany, Singapore, Taiwan, Brazil, and the British engineering forces are successfully using these amphibians. Fawn Trackway for ordinary off-road vehicles, wetlands can be too hard a test, but not for this automobile. This unique rescue truck can create a path for itself and others if necessary. The car carries an aluminium road coil, which is located in the back of the truck. To start building a temporary road, the driver must deploy the forklift, activate a special cylinder-like mechanism, and engage the rear gear. After these actions, the temporary path will be installed following the principle of a carpet track. When the roadway is in the right place, 
place, other vehicles will be able to move along roads that were previously impassable. The new road reaches 165 feet in length and supports cars weighing up to 70 tons. When all traffic has crossed the site, the truck can pick up the temporary road and continue its journey. It should be noted that this truck could operate even in partially flooded areas, making it an ideal vehicle to operate in areas of natural disasters such as floods and landslides. Today, the car is already in use in more than 30 different departments around the world. Guys, it's time to recharge your brain. Visit the channel Brain Time. There you'll find a lot of interesting and useful facts, lots of positive energy and tons of useful information. Subscribe right now. We promise it's going to be really exciting.